Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dorian, this is Ashley. Hello, hello. Today, we're gonna talk about whether the Adidas Stan Smiths are worth it. Yep. So, shall we just get into it? Yeah, I think so. This is a new series for us. We've done a couple other videos about it um, related to white sneakers as well. So if you're interested in these, you might want to check out the other one. We'll link it below. Um, but Ash, I think we just get into it. Uh, let's talk about the pros of the Adidas Stan Smiths. Yep. Like what makes them so great? Why are they such a big, big, big part of all of the shoes you recommend? If you're recommending a sneaker, specifically a white sneaker, it's always going to be these. Yep. Tell the audience Without why. fail. Tell them why. Because price, to a price comparison to the quality of the shoe, the design of the shoe, it, it's just, it's unbeatable. It's crazy inexpensive. They're like, what, 80? It depends. Yeah, it could be I like 70 to 80, 80 to 90. Sometimes you can find them on sale. Mm -hmm. So, the, but the price is super, super inexpensive, under 100 bucks. It's a pretty clean design. Um, it's all white, pretty much. And then you can also, the back of it, this is an all white, this is the, the triple, triple white. Triple white yeah. um, but you can also get it in green, blue, they have like a salmon red, pink, red, red. Yeah. a bunch of different colors that you can kind of just personalize it to, sure. to your personality and to your sense of style. But it's a really clean silhouette, slim profile, round toe, not too bulky, not too slim. So Ash, I think it's safe to say that pound for pound, dollar for dollar, these are going to be the best value you're going to find as far as white sneakers are concerned. Certainly there's cheaper options out there, but they're going to have downsides in the design and comfortability and wear and tear on them. Uh, so really what are the downsides of Stan Smith specifically? So I would say the downsides, I mean it's pretty minimal, but I think it's really important to find an essential item that has the cleanest design possible. So I would, my wishes are that obviously the perforated holes here, which represent the three stripes for Adidas, were gone. I wish it was just cleaner. Um, and I mean, that's really it. I, well, it has the name. You're not oh, a big, yeah. you're not a big fan I wish of logos the, and yeah, names. Yeah, I wish stuff. that it was the name wasn't stamped into the rubber sole. I don't necessarily mind that it's on the back of the shoe and on the tongue of the shoe. Um, it's pretty minimal, but I would say those are like my two biggest things. It's, it could be a cleaner design, and I think that that's what you should always strive for um, when you have, when you're filling your closets up, a closet up with essential items. Closets, mini. All the closets, Closet. fill them all. One or two, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say that's the biggest downside. It could be a cleaner design. So comparatively, Ash, how do they stack up against everybody else in the white sneaker space, I yeah. guess is a way to describe it. I mean, you have your common projects, which super clean design, uh, very minimal. And then these fit into the more inexpensive versions, the more fast fashion. And so I would say they go pretty they can go toe to toe with any of the more inexpensive white sneakers out there. These are one of my favorite ones just because it's a um, it's one of the cleaner designs. But sometimes with your white sneakers, you want a little bit of uniqueness to it. Um, so if that's what you want, if you want, to, if you're adding additional white sneakers to your closet, then um, that's really great. But I think that for your first pair, I love the Stan Smiths. I think you should go with them for your first pair. It feels to me a little bit like you're implying that they're cheaply made and not quality. No. I'm, Fast fashion yeah. stuff, let's get real, is not going to last. It's going to look great for a couple of weeks and then it's not going to do well. These are it's not H&M Forever 21 white sneakers. Yeah. So Stan Smith, leather, you've got the this whole leather upper, you've got the white rubber. It's a really, really good shoe. I've had mine for years. Yeah, you've had yours for years. Yep. I've had mine for years. Just give them a nice clean off every now and then or take them to a, a tennis, uh, a, a sneaker shoe cleaning place. They'll look pretty damn close to as good as new. I've done that two and three times at least with one of my pairs yep. and they look great. Um, so that's not to imply that they're bad for the price. Actually, I would say the value is really high. Like you get close to Common Projects level value out of these without paying Common Projects level pricing, yes. which I think is extremely good and the reason why I personally love and wear these all the time as well. So you were implying a little bit that these were... Well, why don't you ask me the question? <laughs> 
Are they worth it? Oh, I was like, what are we getting into? Are they worth it? That is the question that I need to answer. And I will say 100% without reservation, without hesitation, they are definitely worth it. Um, I think that regardless if you can afford more in a more expensive sneaker or not, you should have this sneaker in your shoe closet. At the end of the day, if you really just mess them up, like you really get them dirty and you've worn them and like and to the point where there is no, no going back, they can never look like new again, guess what? You can easily buy another pair and it's not gonna break the bank. So that's why I think that you should definitely have them regardless if they're your first pair, second pair, third pair, fourth pair, definitely have these in your closet. That's it. I don't know what else to say. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.